Holy fucking shit, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's amazing how someone can make such a quick recovery from having a massive heart attack and not only being in the intensive care unit, being on life support. Yeah, his sister said he was on life support. Could go at any time. Yeah. Well, it's a fucking miracle, man. I was informed. You know, I hate it when I find out things a little too late after I've already made a video. I wish I had known that this morning. You know what I mean? Maybe I wouldn't have been so uh, respectful and diplomatic. Like I said, I only offered up a thought at the end of my video. If it's true, well, hope it turns out okay. Just another one of his bullshit ways of getting attention and now sympathy on top of it. And I would not be surprised. Hey, guess what? I'm not surprised. I was informed now that uh, a lot of things were deleted on this channel. A lot of things got deleted. And uh, now he's, he, not his sister, now he's commenting, <laughs> not his sister anymore. She, she played her part in this. Now he doesn't need his sister anymore. You know <laughs> He's back. You know, I guess he's home. <laughs> okay. Hey, Guns and Gears. Was it that comment you left? Should you find out he's full of shit and scamming with this just to get fucking sympathy and attention? What was it you said? Hey, guess what? Yeah, it was bullshit. I suspected it. But during my video this morning, I refrained from interjecting any of my real personal thoughts on this. And I says, well, even though I don't think he deserves it, I'll give the benefit of the doubt, you know. You know. <laughs> you know, it is what it is with this fucking guy. You know, I was talking with Will on the phone yesterday. He even mentioned to me, you know, I know what I went through with my sister when she passed away last year. I wanted nothing to do with you too. The week-long process at the end where she ended up in intensive care. You know, on life support. Think I wanted to be here on YouTube? Commenting, doing anything? I didn't give a fuck. That's why I fucking shut everything down and walked away. I don't, you know, unfortunately, it takes a lot of tragedy in some people's lives for them to realize what's really important in their life, you know? That gave me a good uh, reminder of what's important in my life. And that's my family, my friends, people in my life here in the real world. YouTube, Facebook, all that shit. You know. Doesn't mean a fucking thing. And I walked away from it. Any free time I had, and I made the free time along with my brother and my daughters and other family members. We were at the hospital. You know, then the day came. And her brother... His sister, <laughs> his sister, you know, I guess was more concerned about, you know, commenting on his behalf here on fucking YouTube and texting people. Even, even, what won't mind me saying? He showed it to me. It's a text. Hi, you don't know me, but I'm Java's sister. I took his phone so I could text you. Leave my brother alone. He's dying. He's... <laughs> yeah, she cared more about that. And being at the... Yeah, she grabbed his phone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Praise the fucking Lord, man. <laughs> you know, I don't believe in... The, but hey, to each their own. If it gives you comfort, it, it helps you get through your days, you know. Helps you be a better person, man. Believe in any fucking God you want. And there's a lot to choose from, let me tell you. you know? <laughs> kind of funny, though. I hear these sayings, you know, God works through people. Maybe that's God's way of working through Job through 20 to get to me, to get me to be a believer. And then start going to church every Sunday and give God my fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he works in mysterious ways. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, what else, hey, Will, what else was it I told you? I said, you know, guys, guys, fucking attention whore. He's fucking, stop. I guess just getting attention isn't enough. Now we need a fucking symphony, sympathy, symphony, symphony. 
Symphony of Destruction. I love that song. Dave Mustaine, Megadeth. That's a good fucking album. Uh, <laughs> see, I'm with Sympathy again. Oh, please don't die. I want to keep seeing videos of you working on your Chevy, counting bolts under a fucking Oldsmobile, wrapped up in a blanket, mumbling, snoring, and farting. I live for that shit. I need you here on YouTube. Please don't die. <laughs> I said, maybe, you know, maybe he fucked himself. If he ends up dying, then he won't be able to. And he thought, wait a minute, what the fuck did I do that for? Why did I go and make believe I was my sister and put out the survey to see how much attention and sympathy I could get? What the fuck am I going to do now? I, I still need attention. How, how can I be out there working on my cars and people are going to say, wait a minute, you're fucking dying yesterday and today you're, you're fucking wedged and stuck to, stuck under a fucking Ozobiel counting bolts in the rear end? Hey, wait a minute, what's wrong with this bitch right here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what's what I told you? I says, well, maybe better yet. Because he knows he can't do shit. He knows he's never going to get that... 283 Chevy to stay running for more than a fucking minute. It's got no fucking brakes and it. it's all fucked up. I don't even know how, how roadworthy the transmission and rear end is in that fucking thing. It's never going to get driven. Nothing's going to, it is what it is. It's, it's going to stay like that. You know what? Bad vacuum week and Yoko Ono squeaky screeching doors. <laughs> yeah, like he's going to work on that old. And this way, now Sanford has excuses to get his ass off the hook with all his projects. Maybe this is Java 220's way of doing the same thing. This way, when he comes back, you can just continue to make videos laying in bed, surrounded by all his junk. You know, VHS tapes and, you know, old 80s boom boxes that, you know, you know, kids today have iPods, phones, earbuds, you know what I mean? That's kind of caveman, obsolete, ancient shit, but hey, he thinks they're worth money. Uh, and eight track tapes, you know. Laying there with a blanket and mumbling and maybe that's his way of just being able to keep on doing that from now on and get away from all his projects. And if he gets a question on, he can say, "Hey, I, I have to." I gotta do this. <laughs> I have to do this from now on. This is all I can do is make videos laying in bed, wrapped in a blanket. I'm following my doctor's orders. He said I can't do any physical strenuous labor on anything. I'm to just lay in bed, wrapped in a blanket, and make my videos laying in bed, wrapped in a blanket. Because if I do any physical exertion, I could end up back in intensive care, back on life support, and I could die. <sighs> okay, listen, any of you that have been defending this fucking guy, thinking he's a good fucking guy, I know guns and gears what you said, yeah, I know, Sanford's just fucking, he uses people and shit, oh yeah, come on, that's obvious. This guy here, Job 220, he hasn't used anybody, that's very true. <laughs> but look what he is. I tell you, man, San, San Francisco is on a lot of fucked up shit. So is the Crypt Keeper. Even the Crypt Keeper that is pretty much on death's fucking doorstep. <laughs> Even he's not trying to fake his own fucking death and on life support and fucking ICU and had a stroke or a heart attack. Or he finally had that one hot bowel movement, you know, and he shit out all his fucking intestines, and now he needs an intestine transplant or some shit like that. Really, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I wish I had known this earlier. I would have never done my Happy Sunday video this morning trying to be respectful and diplomatic, giving a little benefit of a doubt, but no one in the recess of my mind, this was all bullshit. Okay, have a great day.